Hello everybody, today we're going to do a request, we're going to do Kajagoogoo's Too Shy, which has given me some um, workouts, shall we say. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it into three separate videos. We're going to do the intro, the verse and the chorus uh, separately because there's quite a lot in it and we'll see how the first ones go before I go, go kind of uh, killing myself on the second one. So what we're going to do, we're going to play along to what he's playing and then I'll show you what he's doing, as always. Cheers. Okay, so uh, this guy uh, this bass player is a contemporary of Mick Carnes around at the same time, kind of uh, early 80s on. He's still going today. He's a monster, monster musician, plays the Chapman Stick. He's played with Howard Jones and uh, Stephen Wilson. He's actually an incredible bass player. And back, he was only a young fella doing this. So um, it's good to see him getting a bit of recognition at last. The incredible Nick Beggs comes across a very nice guy in interview and stuff. So... Uh, it's cool that people are talking about him. Anyway, let's do something from his his hollow youth. So the question is, did he play it with his fingers or did he slap it? And I can answer that. And the answer is yes. He did both. <laughs> so um, some of the early videos you see him, see him playing with his fingers. Other times uh, there's a Kajagooga with a festival. Um, and I'm just going to turn off my phone here because it rattles. Kajagooga are at a festival and... Uh, they are playing and he's playing with his thumb and then some of the early um, mimes TV videos he's playing with his thumb and other times you see him playing with his finger so it just seems to be whatever uh, the notion is he has at the particular time on the record it sounds like his fingers to me because that is different to, that's different to that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you both ways okay so we start on the A string, 12th fret with your third finger, and you're gonna play that note, and then you're gonna pull it off. So you get two notes worn. So those of you who don't know what a pull off is, uh, if you play the string like that, and then you drag down with your left hand a little bit, till that finger slips off the string, you get two notes worn, right? So watch my right hand. There's two notes for one. Um, for those of you who do know what a pull-off is, pull is, I'm very sorry, but look. So we're going to start 12th fret, pull off to the open A. 10th fret, pull off to the open A. Back up to the 12th and again, pull off to the open A. 10th fret. And then hammer on to the 12th fret without going to the A. So... Actually, he's only playing once the whole time, look. So you only play the first note, look. Right, so you're gonna get all of that L1 note plucked at your finger, or thumped. Okay, so if you wanna do it with your thumb, you, you can do it, or if you wanna do it with your finger, you can do it. But either way, it's one for that whole phrase. So in addition to the pull off, you need a hammer on which is where you play the open string and then slam your finger on to create the note. Okay, so that's what's happening is hammer-ons and pull-offs. Pull so 12th to the open fret, 10th open fret. Remember, I'm not playing here. 12th to the open A, 10th to the open A, and then you're gonna hammer up to the 12th, right? Now, the next part is we're gonna do that same thing, but lower down. So on the A string again, open A to the seventh fret, and then hammer, hammer off, sorry, pull off. Open, uh, that's the fifth fret on the A string. So open A, seventh fret, open A, fifth fret, open A, Seventh fret. So from the top. And 
and then he does that again. Open A. Okay, now here's the tricky bit. This is actually really hard uh, to get from what I'm going to show you back to this note, but you'll do it. So we're going to play on the 15th fret on the A string and on the 17th fret on the G string. And they're both a C note. Okay. And you're going to pinch them with these two fingers. Uh, help if I was in tune better, but look, we're in this far. So like that, right? So 15th fret on the A, making a C. 17th fret on the G, making a C. Okay. And now you're going to, without, you only pluck once and you're going to slide that down two frets to the 13th fret on the A and the 15th fret on the G. So and spend a little time getting that accurate, unlike me. <laughs> right, so it's. And there's your intro. Good luck. Uh, it's it, as easy as it is in some respects. It's actually tricky enough, but it's the whole intro of that song. All you've got otherwise is 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 the drums playing something very straight and two chords on on a, a synth pad. This intro was the thing that caught people's attention on the radio in 1983. Or I think that's when it came out. You heard this fading uh, synth pad, and then this. <laughs> Uh, whatever amazing amazing stuff uh i'll be right back with another video probably tomorrow or the next day showing you how to play the verses good luck